Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Tosh Can Plant and today we're going to be talking about how to get rid of mealybugs on your outdoor and indoor plants. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more plant content. Now let's get on with the video. So before we get into how to control mealybugs, I thought we should learn a little bit about them so we can understand why it is they are infesting our plants. So mealybugs are soft-bodied, sap-sucking insects that look a little bit like tiny cotton balls on your plants. They like to feed off of the leaves of plants, stems, um, and any fruits that are growing on your plant. Some symptoms you might notice on your plant if you do have a mealybug infestation would be yellowing of your leaves and also leaf curling. When mealybugs feed, they do leave behind a substance known as honeydew and this attracts ants to your plant. So if you ever notice a ton of ants in your plant and you don't really know why, more than likely there's another pest there that the ants are feeding off of. So because mealybugs are so tiny and usually difficult to spot, uh, one way that you can tell if you have mealybugs or any other type of pest on your plant is if you notice a ton of ants in your soil and on the leaves of your plants, especially ants that seem to have come out of nowhere. So mealybugs and ants have a sort of mutualistic relationship where mealybugs benefit because they are protected from predators by the ants and in return, they provide a food source for the ants. So again, if you start to notice ants swarming your plants, make sure that you check your plant for any signs of mealybugs. So the reason why mealybug infestations can get so bad is because female mealybugs can actually lay a ton of eggs in a short amount of time. So the average female can lay about 600 eggs in the span of two weeks and in one to three weeks these eggs will hatch and you will have a bunch of little tiny mealybugs which are usually a yellowish color um, crawling all around your leaves. So because mealybugs are able to reproduce quickly and eggs are able to hatch in a short amount of time, it is super important that you control this issue quickly so that it doesn't become a bigger problem and one that you can no longer control. Some ways that you can prevent mealybugs from infesting your plants is to inspect your plant regularly. This is a tip that I have mentioned in my previous videos and that's just because I think that this is so important for any plant owner to do. So I inspect my plants daily just because I do live next to the jungle so I do get quite a few pest problems. Um, so when I'm inspecting my plants, I like to look not only on the top of the leaves of the plant but also underneath the leaves um, and any crevices on the plant um, and also in the soil. So make sure that you inspect every inch of your plant because mealybugs especially are really good at hiding. Um, and that's why usually you notice the ants before you notice the mealybugs. My second tip is to clean your plants regularly. So for me, I clean my plants once a week and I just use some dish soap that is diluted with water. So what I do is I just mix this and pour this into a spray bottle and I spray it onto the leaves of my plant and I just gently wipe it away with a rag or a washcloth. And this tip goes hand in hand with the first tip that I gave which is to inspect your plant regularly because if you are cleaning your plant then you are also able to check and see if your plant has any signs of disease or any signs of pests. So those are some tips on how to prevent a mealybug infestation from happening. However, if you already have a mealybug infestation on your hands, then here are some ways that you can control it. So if your plant has only a couple of mealybugs that you can see, then I would suggest to kill each individual mealybug with rubbing alcohol. So the type of alcohol you're going to want to use is 70% rubbing alcohol. And then what you do is you just take a Q-tip or a cotton swab and you pour a bit of alcohol onto that. Um, and then you would just pick off each mealybug that you see on your plant. And you will know that you successfully killed a mealybug if when you look on your q-tip or your cotton swab you see an orange color that is left behind from the dead mealybug. Now if you're dealing with a plant that is more heavily infested with mealybugs then something I would suggest is to cut off the most infested part of your plant. 
Doing this alone will definitely not solve your problem, um, but it will help you in controlling the infestation. Now that you've killed your mealybugs with either rubbing alcohol or cut off a part of your plant um, that is most heavily infested with mealybugs, the last thing that I would recommend that to me is the most successful is to spray your plant with some type of mealybug killing solution. So I'm going to go over two solutions that I have used that I have found to be super helpful in getting rid of mealybugs. So the first one that I'm going to go over is to use neem oil in your solution. So the type of neem oil that I use is 70% neem oil. I heard that using a higher concentration of neem oil is more effective, but so far I haven't had any problems with using the 70%. So for the specific concentration of neem oil that I have, I would just mix two tablespoons of neem oil with one gallon of water and I would mix that up and put that into a spray bottle. If you don't have neem oil, however, you can also use rubbing alcohol to kill off mealybugs. So again, you're going to want to use the 70% rubbing alcohol um, and the reason why we use 70% is because if you use anything higher than that um, you risk burning the leaves of your plants so you want to make sure to stay um, within 70% or a bit lower than that but nothing higher so you're going to want to mix your rubbing alcohol with some type of dish soap for me I use pure castile soap so the type that I use is Wild Harvest Pure Castile Soap mixed with peppermint. Um, the only reason why I have peppermint in mine is because I couldn't find anything else. Um, but I haven't had any problems with this type of soap. So all you're going to do is you're going to mix one cup of 70% rubbing alcohol, one teaspoon of Castile Soap or some type of dish soap, and four cups of water. And you're going to mix that all together and put that into a spray bottle. Now whether you decide to use neem oil or if you decide to use rubbing alcohol with some type of dish soap or castile soap, you're going to want to spray that solution all over your plant. So when spraying your plant, you need to make sure to spray not only the tops of the leaves of the plant, but also underneath the plant, the stems, any crevices, and also the soil of the plant. And just a quick tip, when you are spraying your plants with these solutions, you're going to want to make sure to spray them in the evening um, because if you do spray them in the morning or in the afternoon when the sun is out still, uh, you run the risk of burning the leaves of your plant. And when you are spraying your plants with these solutions, you're going to follow a 7 to 14 day cycle. So what this means is that after you spray your plants the first time, you're going to wait seven days and then spray your plant again and then wait another seven days so on the 14th day you will spray your plant for the last time um, and this should completely get rid of your mealybug problem if not you're going to want to repeat this again every seven days until the problem is completely gone and just another quick tip if you notice any mealybugs on any of your plants make sure to isolate that plant right away and if your plant was close by to another plant Make sure that you treat that plant as well because like I mentioned before, mealybugs are really hard to spot. Um, so sometimes they can be there and you won't even notice it. So it's better to just treat it um, and hopefully get rid of that problem before it becomes um, a bigger one. And also when you are buying a new plant, especially from a plant nursery, make sure that you also isolate that plant for a couple of days just to inspect it every day and make sure that it doesn't have any pests that it can transfer over to your other plants. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope that you all learned how to control and prevent mealybugs from infesting your outdoor and indoor plants. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you enjoy these types of videos, make sure to leave a comment down below on what type of pest control video you'd like to see me do next. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more plant content. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!